Welcome back to Fun Reading Baby. Today we will be reading Little Miss Contrary. Little Miss Contrary always did the opposite of what you would think she would do. For instance, you would ask her to switch on the television. She would switch on the light. If, for example, if you asked her of the time, she would tell you the date. And she always did the opposite of what she really meant. What? Mind you, it wasn't exactly her fault. It was probably because she lived in a place called Muddleland where everything is so mixed up and muddled you don't know whether you are coming coming or going or going and coming as they say in muddle land what's the difference it's a very strange place indeed the worms don't live in holes in Muddleland. They live in trees. Wow. And the birds lived in holes. And if you want a loaf of bread, you don't go to the bakers, you go to the butchers. And the bakers sell bananas. Muddleland is so messed up. One morning, Little Miss Condotary was having breakfast, roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Wouldn't you have that for lunch? There was, there was a knock on at the door. Little Miss Contrary didn't hear at first because it was more of a tap than a knock. Tap, tap, tap. But she didn't hear it eventually and went to see who it was. She opened the door. Hello, said a little voice. Little Miss Contrary looked down and down again and there stood Mr. Small. He raised his hat. Hello. He said again, Goodbye, smiled Little Miss Contrary. Mr. Small looked puzzled, as as well he might, I wonder, if you can help me, he asked. Little Miss Contrary smiled. Of course, I can't, she said. Oh dear, said Mr. Small. You see, I'm lost. Well, she said, nice to meet you, Mr. Lost. No, no, said Mr. Small. I'm trying to find someone called Little Miss Contrary. That's you, laughed Little, Little Miss Contrary. I have a letter for her, said Mr. Small. Oh, oh, bad, she said. I don't get any telephone calls. I think I'll go, said the confused Mr. Small. Goodbye. Must be a very small letter, if it's coming from Mr. Small. Hello, said Little Miss Contrary, contrary and shut the door. Mr. Small went home, shaking his head. The letter was from Mr. Happy, inviting Little Miss Contrary to his birthday party. I love birthday parties. Mr. Happy had never met Little Miss Contrary, but he had heard about her and thought it would be nice to have her to his birth party. The invitation was for three o'clock on Tuesday the 14th of March. What is she going to do though? If she's Miss Contrary, then she's going to do the opposite. Not go to the party? I don't know. At two o'clock on Monday the 13th of March, Little Miss Contrary knocked on Mr. Happy's door. Happy Christmas, said Little Miss Contrary, and 
thrust a puzzle into Mr. Happy's hand. Mr. Happy was puzzled. Who asked you? Who are you? He asked. I'm Little Miss Sunshine," replied Little Miss Contrary. "Huh? No, you're not," said Mr. Happy. "I know Little Miss Sunshine, and she's not a bit. She's not a bit like you." True. Then he stopped and thought. "Oh," he smiled. "I know." Who you really are? You're Little Miss Contrary, aren't you? I've heard that you always say and do the opposite of what you mean. You better come in," said Mr. Happy. "No, thank you," smiled Little Miss Contrary. Mr. Happy led her into his living room. What a horrible room! She said, "Mr. Happy grinned. He was being beginning to realize that everything he had heard about Little Miss Contrary was true." Would you like a cup of cup of tea? He asked. "I can't think of everything. Anything I'd like less," said Little Miss Contrary. Mr. Happy grinned again and went to put the kettle on. After his tea, Mr. Happy took Little Miss Contrary to meet some of his friends. He had to explain to them all that what she was saying was the exact opposite of what she really meant. "Are you thin?" she said to Mr. Greedy. "Oh, thin, fat. He's probably fat because he's really, really greedy." You have very short arms," said Mr. Tickle. "I like your beard," she said to Mr. Fussy. "Oh, that means she doesn't like his beard. That's sad." Well, she said eventually. Thank you for the most perfect afternoon. I must go home before it gets light. Perfect, asked Mister Happy. Perfectly dreadful, she agreed, and she and she went. I say, chuckled Mister Greedy to Mister Happy. You do know some funny people. You can say that again. Laughed Mister. Laughed Mister Happy. You do know some funny people," said Mister Greedy. Miss and Mister Happy grinned and went home. At home, Mister Happy remembered the parcel that Little Miss Contrary had given him. It must be a birthday present. He said, and he hurried to where he had left the parcel and unwrapped it. He said, "He inside was indeed a present and a card." He opened the birthday card first. Inside, it said, "Many mis- miserable returns of the day." And would you like to know what the present was? A pair of Socks. Well, not quite a pair of socks. The socks was white, and the other sock was black. And as Little Miss Contrary would say, that's the beginning of the story. And as Little Miss Contrary would say, not the end. I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, smash that like button, hit the bell notification, subscribe so you can see the rest of my videos. Bye.